Hello, let's solve the WASI 2023 paper 1, the other paper 1 in this video. So let's begin with the first question. We have to express 3 over 3 minus root 6 in the form x plus m root y. So we rationalize by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator which is 3 plus root 6 over 3 plus root 6. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that. So we have 3 into 3 plus root 6 all over 3 squared minus root 6 all squared. Difference of two squares here. That will give us 3 into 3 plus root 6 all over um, 9 minus 6, which is 3. So this 3 will cancel this 3. We are left with 3 plus root 6. So the correct answer is B. If 1 over 9 exponent 2 x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 81 exponent 2 minus 3x, find the value of x. So mm, 1 over 9 exponent 2x minus 1. So 1 over 81 is the same as 1 over 9 all square. When you evaluate this, you get 1 over 81. And already there is 2 minus 3x there. So we create the exponent. We have 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 into bracket 2 minus 3x. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 6x. Grouping like this, we have 2x plus 6x is equal to 4 plus 1. So 8x is equal to 5. Dividing through by 8 by 8. x is therefore equal to 5 over 8. So the correct answer is... So the correct answer is 5 over 8. Then uh, number 3. If x minus 5 is a factor of x cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30, then we have to find the remaining factors. So if x minus 5 is a factor, then it means that we can quickly divide s cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30 by x minus 5. So we divide this by this, we get x squared. So we put an x squared here. That x squared uses to multiply this, we get x cubed. And that x squared uses to multiply this, we get minus 5x squared. So we subtract. So x cube, x cube will go. Then negative 4x squared minus negative 5x squared give you positive x squared. And we bring down the minus 11x. Now we divide this by this, we get positive x. So we multiply this by this, we get x squared. We multiply this by this, we get minus 5x. Then you subtract. What do you get? You get you are left with positive 5. 11, negative, negative 11x plus 5x will give you negative 6x. So you bring down the 30. Now um, divide this by this, you get minus 6. So this time this will give you negative 6x minus, that is plus 30. So when you subtract, you get 0. So it means that uh, the other factors will be coming from, so the polynomial is x minus 5 into x squared plus x minus 6. So we have x minus 5, then two factors of 
two factors of six that when you add you get one is negative two three so x minus two x plus three so these are the factors of the polynomial so it is x plus three and x minus two so to solve this with the calculator just go to mode go to um, equations and select the polynomial equations we solve it we get x equal 5 x equal positive 2 then x equal negative 3 so it means the factors are you bring this to the other side x plus 3 then you bring this one to the other side you get x minus 2 you bring this one then x minus 5 so using the calculator you can do it that way then you know that the other factors are x plus 3 and x minus 2 using a scientific calculator then number 4 you have to consider a statement x the school bus arrived late y the students walked down to school which of the following can be represented by y implies x so y implies x means if y then x so if y it means if the students walk down to school if the students walk down to school to school then the bus arrived late then the bus arrived late so that is the meaning of this symbol here so Emanuela did not go to school because the school bus arrived late he didn't say that he didn't go to school he said walk down the school bus arrived early and Kate ran to school so that is not what it means he said if the student walk down to school then the bus arrived late Mary walked to school because the bus arrived late so that will be what we are looking for so the correct answer is option C question number five so we are evaluating integral of x into x squared minus 2 all squared from 0 to 1 dx so we can rewrite this as 0 to 1 of x squared minus 2 we have x dx um, when we let u to be equal to um, x squared minus 1 minus 2 then the u will be equal to 2x dx if that is the case then we can substitute back into the integral but the limit to has to change well we can further continue to divide also by 2 by 2 to get x dx to be equal to 1 over 2 du the limit has to change because u is equal to x squared minus 2 so when x is equal to 0 u will be equal to negative 2 you put 0 here when x is equal 1 you put 1 here u will be equal to negative 1 so it means the u will move from negative 2 to negative 1 and when you put u here it's use is this one squared so x squared minus 2 all squared so you get u squared then x dx is 1 over 2 du which is the same as 1 over 2 integral of negative 2 negative 1 u squared du when we integrate this you will get 
Mm, one over two. You keep over three. Then moving from negative two to negative one. So when we when we plug in these values, we get one over two. Then we have negative one exponent three over three. Then minus negative two exponent three over three. So this will give us one over two. The negative three exponent three is negative one over three. And this one is it will be plus negative eight plus eight over three. So this will give us one over two times seven over three. So that will give us seven over six, which is the same as one whole number. 1 over 6. So the correct answer is C. You can plug this directly on the calculator, the scientific calculator, and it will give you the correct answer. So let's look at the question number 6. Number 6. In how many ways can a committee of three women and two men be chosen from a group of seven men and five women. So we can we have five combination five combination three way of choosing three women from, from five women and we have seven uh, combination two way of choosing two men from seven men. So when you evaluate this with your calculator, you're supposed to get 210. 210. So the correct answer is option D. You can also simplify this if it were objective. Uh, if it were subjective, you can if you want to show working, you can use n combination r equal n factorial over n minus r factorial com um, r factorial. Then you simplify that to get 210 as your final answer. Question number 7. Given that 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into x plus 3 is equivalent to p over x plus 3 plus q over x minus 2, find the value of q. So we first of all find the LCM. We were given, we're given 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into x plus 3 is equal to p over x plus 3 plus q is equivalent to plus q over x minus 2. So we have x plus 3 x minus 2. So when this comes here, we are left with this times this, we get p x minus 2. When this comes here, we are left with x plus 3, so plus q, x plus 3. So, since the denominators are the same, it means 3x plus 4 is equal to p into x minus 2 plus q into x plus 3. To find a value of q, we put a value, we have to make this one 0. So, when you equate x minus 2 equals 0, you get x equal 2. So when you put x equal to 2 here, you get 3 into bracket 2 plus 4 is equal to p into bracket 2 minus 2 plus q into bracket 2 plus 3. So you get 6 plus 4 is equal to 0 plus 5q. So 10 is equal to 5q. Therefore, q is equal to divided by 5 by 5. q is equal to 2. So the correct answer is D. If alpha and beta are the roots of 7x squared plus 12x minus 4 equals 0, find the value of alpha beta over alpha plus beta squared. So alpha beta is minus AC over A, which is minus 4 over 7. 
then alpha plus beta is 12 over 7 minus 12 over 7 so minus 12 negative 12 over 7 all squared so when we simplify that we have negative 4 over 7 times um, 49 over 144 so 7 will go into 49 7 times then 2 here negative 2 times 2 here 1 um, 72 times still 2 can go 2 will go here 1 2 will go here 7, uh, 36 so you get negative 7 over 36 which is option C Now let's look at question number nine. If f is such that x maps onto two tan x, f is such that x maps onto two tan x, and g is such that x maps onto, if I can see it well, x squared plus eight. So we are supposed to find g circle f of forty-five. So g of f of 45 degrees so f of 45 degrees you put 45 here that will give you so f of 45 degrees is equal to 2 tan 45 now tan 45 is 1 so this will give you 2 so you put that 2 here so g of g of 2 will be equal to square root of 2 squared plus 8 that will give you square root of 4 plus 8 that will give you square root of 12 which is um, 2 root 3 the correct answer will be D an exponential sequence or HP is given by 9 over 2 3 over 4, 1 over 8. We are supposed to find the sum to infinity. So sum to infinity is given by a over 1 minus r. So recall that the a is 9 over 2. So you put it there. 9 over 2. All over. 1 minus r. r is equal to 3 over 4 divided by 9 over 2 which is 3 over 4 times 2 over 9 2 will go here 1 2 will go here 2 2 3 will go here 1 3 will go here 3 so 1 over 6 1 minus 1 over 6 1 minus 1 over 6 is same as 7 over 6 <laughs> it is same as 5 over 6 so you get 9 over 2 times 6 over 5. So 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 3. So 3 times 9 is 27 over 5. 27 over 5. Uh, 5 will go into 27 5 times remainder 2. So 5 whole number 2 over 5. The correct answer is B. Thank you for joining us to solve these video, to solve these questions. The continuation will be coming in the next video. See you in the next video.